Previously on Wednesday, hungry teenagers. We're never eating that cake, are we? You're never gonna eat it. Unwanted birthday presents. Okay, you can take it back. Telling someone you've made a discovery over the phone never ends well. Who did that? And Wednesday's quest for answers results in having the best room at Nevermore all to herself. <laughs> Enjoy the video and don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of the next video. We're having a funeral? Ah, for the mayor. So he is dead, dead. Oh, no. I totally forgot about him. I enjoy funerals. I've been Bread. crashing them since I was old enough to read the obituary section. <laughs> Nice. She crashes funerals. Mayor Walker was murdered, and I know the killer is here. Oh, Lucas. Kids had a rough week. Watching everything mm -hmm. I do. I have all the pieces of the jigsaw. I just need to slot them into place. All the pieces are assembled. Did it. All the potential witnesses. All the potential... Murderers. I don't trust her anymore. Not with the roses. Damn, everybody's sus. We don't know who it is. Yeah. Who could it be? The killer will make a mistake, and I'll be ready. Who's that standing back there? Uh-oh. <gasps> what the hell was that? This is definitely going to be the killer. Run! Go, 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 go. She's chasing after a potential murderer. She's crazy. Step in with the umbrella. How he vanished. He's Thursday. He's always a day away. Now, what if it was a trap? <laughs> Which it very well could be. <laughs> no! Oh my god! Frick. Jesus Christ has scared me. Whoa. <laughs> That's sweet. Whoa. Oh my God. Excuse me. He's lightning powers? What? Then the so X-Men? Sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. Uncle Fester. <laughs> oh, Uncle Fester. Yeah. There you go. Oh, look at her smiling. A legitimate smile. My, uh... She never smiles like that. Yay, Festa. It's Fred Armisen. <laughs> <laughs> Looks just like him. Oh, cool. Yes. He's so cool. Ah! I totally forgot about Uncle Fester. Wow, we're meeting another family member. That's exciting. Let's go. Just blew into town this morning and was hit by a wave of nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Nevermore. I didn't. Your dad got all the brains. <laughs> but I used to drop in on him, usually from the ceiling with the dagger clutched between my teeth. Yeah, just literally. Just toes. Drop in on him. <laughs> he filled me in on what's been going on. Monsters, murder. What fun! <laughs> Wants to get involved. I told him I had a job in Boston, but I'd be checking up on you. So you're doing in Boston? What kind of job? Boston. The kind that means I need somewhere to lay low for a couple days. Whoa, what did he do? I'm there to kill somebody. <laughs> Are we gonna lay low here? We do have a free beehive. You're gonna make him sleep with the bees? This place belongs to a friend. We've actually made a friend. Yeah. That poor kid will be going home in a body bag. Don't say that. Ah, awkward. He's already in a coma. You might be correct. I like a hideout that comes with snacks. Those bees are hibernating. They're practically Eugene's children. Mm -hmm. Oh. Do not touch them. That means do not eat them. Sir? Ew. <laughs> She's serious, bro. Put it down. She's very protective of Eugene's stuff. Yeah, put it back. Now, when you give me that death stare of disapproval, you remind me of your mother. <laughs> Speaking of scary things, do you know what kind of a monster you're dealing with? Yeah. I haven't been able to identify it. Does he know? It's called a hide. Ooh. What? A hide? A hide. A hide. Oh, good, you know something. Like Jekyll and Hyde? Isn't Jekyll and Hyde? Hmm? Yeah, like Whoa. a- Whoa. I wrote this show. You've seen one before. In 83, during my vacay at the Zurich Institute for the Criminally Insane. You took a vacation there? I got my first lobotomy. But you know, lobotomies are kind of like tattoos. You can't just get one. What? <laughs> oh. Tell me about that. <laughs> and even numbers are bad luck. Olga Malakova. She had it all beauty, brains, and a penchant for necrophilia. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Olga was a concert pianist. Till one night she transformed and massacred a dozen audience members. Who? Yeah, and three music critics. <laughs> what triggered her? So it happens. Randomly? No idea. I only saw her in group electroshock therapy. You tried Nathaniel Faulkner's diary? Kay. Nathaniel Faulkner? Who the F is Nathaniel Ooh. Faulkner? Before he founded Nevermore, 
Faulkner traveled the world, cataloging every outcast community. How do you know this? I showed up unannounced one night in Gomez's dorm room. Oh, no. Let's just say I wasn't interrupting a pillow fight. Uncle Fester. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no more of that. <laughs> yeah. The diary. On point. Stay on point. Nightshade's library. Oh, there you go. Your dad parked me there. Said I should settle in for a long stretch. We'll sneak into the Nightshade's library tonight. In the meantime, lay low. Don't eat the bees. If you are discovered, I will disown you and collect all the reward money tied to your capture. <laughs> As you should. I'd expect nothing less. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Leave the bees alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she cares about Eugene. Bees are friends, not food. Hi. Aw, Eugene. Sorry, I'm coming back. I figured you were still at Mayor Walker's wake. As soon as the dirt hits the coffin, I'm out. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> I can't seem to find my bottle of Silver Moon nail polish. Do you mind if I look around? It's your room. You don't gotta ask permission for shit, girl. This is the third time in 24 hours you've forgotten something. She's checking on you. She's waiting for an apology. So? How's everything going? Aww. Hmm. She's such a little kitty. Solitude suits me. Liar. With no annoying distractions, I'm almost finished with my novel. Was I an annoying distraction? You definitely had some annoying habits. <laughs> such as? Fair. You giggle when you text, which is a 24 <laughs> 7 addiction. At least it's not a migraine inducing typewriter hammering into my head. When you're not grinding your canines, you growl in your sleep. As opposed to late night cello solos. <laughs> you could gas an entire small village with the amount of perfume you spritz. <laughs> Ouch. Fight. Fight. Yoko and I are so in sync that she's begging me to be her new roommate permanently. I'm sure she is. Yoko sucks. Don't let me hold you back. <sighs> Enjoy your solitude Wednesday. It's not solitude if you're still here. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I think she's getting feelings. Why is she so mean? Come on, guys. Just make up already. They know they miss each other. Stop acting like they don't. I honestly thought she would have apologized. She's so damn proud. Do it, just do a snap. Ooh, the double snap. I love that. Uncle Fester? Who's Uncle Fester? Her Uncle Fester. <laughs> what are they doing down here? Yeah. Since I'm an actual nightshade, I don't have to explain myself. Oh, yeah. an excuse for creeping around in the middle of the night. Research. Oh, he's still pissed a off. monster? You know what mm. your problem is? Oh, tell us. I would love to hear your piercing insight. Oh. You don't know who your real friends are. Mm. I've been on your side since day one. Because you like her. I literally saved your life. It's true. What do I get in return? Just nothing but suspicion and lies. Yep. Team man bond. Yeah, but you show up at the most suspicious times. You want honesty? Here it is. Oh boy. Every time the monster has attacked, you have been right there. Mm -hmm. Starting with Rowan at the Harvest Festival. Yeah, but who else is right there? So is he. Then on outreach day, you arrived at the meeting house just minutes after the monster had disappeared, yet you say you didn't see it. You're a mystery writer Wednesday. You know this is all too convenient. It's not him. Let's not forget your oh-so-convenient appearance after Tyler had been attacked at the Gates Mansion. But that was Thing, though. I think it's just bad timing. It's too easy. If I am the monster, why haven't I killed you? Love. Because for some reason I cannot fathom or indulge, you seem to like me. <laughs> What's to like? Oh! <laughs> Dang. Oh, burn! But he does like her. <laughs> He's just making shit up. He was literally drawing pictures of her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he was hiding. How long have you been lurking? Long enough to feel the tension between you two. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Yowza! Seriously, you could cut it with an executioner's axe. I'd recognize the pattern of Dang. those fingertips anywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh there he is. Family reunion. Hello, thing. Oh. Oh, he doesn't oh. seem happy. Things ready to fight. Still be mad about the Kalamazoo job. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are still standing there. Enough. That's why you never have beef with Thing. He'll choke you out. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> Show me the diary. Ew! What will he? Ew! <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna wet your own willy. Iggy was Faulkner's right hand, and behind Iggy, it. Oh, it's another person we haven't seen anything of his cousin it. Look it at that. Behind it. Do I have time for a snooze, or can you crack this one quickly? Mm. Ooh, that was some toot in that wrist. Thing doesn't need a stethoscope or a Walkman. This is turning into a replay of Kalamazoo. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come oh on, Bang, prove them wrong. 
Show him the middle finger. <laughs> a little bow. <laughs> Why is it hidden in a safe? I have questions. These are some sweet digs. Sweet digs. They are. I love that room. How'd you swing your own single? My former roommate couldn't handle my toxic personality. <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's like, I get it. Ooh. That was a scary one. Hey, there it is. Found it. Oh. Faulkner describes hides as artists by nature, but equally vindictive in temperament. Artists by nature. Oh, it's not looking good for Xavier. She's gonna be more suspicious of him. Oh. Born of mutation, the hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement or hypnosis. What? This app causes the hide to develop an immediate bond with its liberator, who the creature now sees as its master. Oh. Uh... Okay, he has a mask. On. It could be the therapist. She could unlock it with hypnosis, and then it could be Xavier, and he just doesn't realize. His mom died. Therapist. It's Tyler, guys. It has to. That means be. I'm not looking for one killer, but two. Yeah. Oh gosh. The plot thickens. So he, Tyler's being controlled. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's none of it's his fault. I knew it. I the monster. Freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> He's gone. Good job, Festo. Where do you go? Enid has requested to room with Yoko for the rest of the school year. She did? Oh no, she made it official. I didn't think she'd actually go through with it. You two seemed as thick as thieves. Ultimately, thieves turn on each other. I've seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no honor among thieves. You and I both know that you care about Enid. And you have to admit, she managed to bring out a spark of warmth in you. Yes. Part of the dorm experience is making friends with people that you wouldn't normally connect She's with. She's not trying to hear this. rather buy a rope. <laughs> is it really so difficult for you to admit that you made a friend and now that she's gone, you might actually miss her? For her, yes. I'll survive alone. Ah, I come have. on. It doesn't yeah. have to be that way Wednesday. Well, if that's your decision, I'll submit the forms to Principal Weems. Mm. That sucks for Enid. That's so much work on her side of the room. Now she's got to move it all. Yeah, we got to find out what's going on with Thornhill. Uncle Fester? What's that? Is he in there? Mm, probably hiding Uncle in there. Uncle Fester? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, hey, being a solo Lobo has its perks. You get to live by your own rules. Just look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fester. Yeah, not the best example. How did he get under those so quickly? He's awesome. literally Batman. I need to talk to you right now. Yeah, I know where that is. What is going on okay, with you? I can meet you there in like 20 minutes. Here he goes, being suspicious again. Bye. Who are you talking oh, to? Jeez. Jesus. Whoa. You're so sneaky. I know what you are, Xavier. Can you stay the hell away from me? Good for you, Xavier. Stand up for yourself. Nah, come on, Wednesday. You're oh, so she wrong. still thinks it's him. She's like really confident that it's him. It's too easy. Her suspicion's completely misplaced. That's crazy. Oh, he's taking a bike ride. Did you place a tracker? What? Look at that worm. giant console. <laughs> it's so old school. Nice. Yikes, it's from like 1983. <laughs> That's at the road. Yes, oh, no let's way. go. Oh my god. Ooh, I like that. Hell yeah, that's amazing. What is this? <laughs> what is this? What? It looks like I the Dalmatian puked town. on those. You know me. I like to travel incognito. Incognito? Yeah, that's super incognito. That's... <laughs> At least it's black and white though. Such a cool helmet. <laughs> Come on, let's roll. <laughs> I love it so much. They even have dog ears. She's like, too much white, need more black. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this looks so fun. Oh, so cool. <laughs> she looks so cute with the helmet on. What is Cruella de Vil? <laughs> That's Xavier, all right. What happened? Who is it? <gasps> the therapist. Oh, it is. Uh oh. Uh, no! He had a dream where she died? What? Oh, my brain hurts. Hmm. Hmm. She's definitely my suspect number one. Is yeah, that, but I didn't expect this combo. Obvious? This is all confusing. What's going on? They're doing a good job of trying to mislead you. Make you think that he's the yeah. one. Man, it's too obvious for that to be. Uh, damn it, it can't be them now. It can't be them. Kinbot has to be Xavier's master. Hmm. The hide lays dormant until unleashed. What is he gonna do? Or unlocked through chemical he's gonna eat it. Or Ew, oh, the crisp disgusting. part. <laughs> 
That is the <laughs> grossest <laughs> thing, Fester. I'm gonna throw up. The most disgusting thing I've seen on this show. <laughs> Eating the crispy part. Why, bro? Are you listening? She must have figured out he was a hiding and used hypnotherapy to unlock him. I think the kid behind the counter has clocked me. <laughs> He's walking over. I'm gonna put him in a Romanian sleeper hold. No, Cock no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so good. On the house. Tyler, this is my uncle Fester. Hi, right, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Is that, is that me? Right? <laughs> it's called a hide. That's it from that night. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Your father gave you explicit instructions not to be near me. Yeah, but he. My dad's not here and likes afraid. you. And you came into the shop. And his dad's there. Uh oh. What did I say? What did I say? I forbade you. Get away from her! <laughs> I was Yay. on a break. Not just a beer today! <laughs> Oh. Dang! <laughs> Man, the uncle is fast. How does he keep disappearing? And sir, don't you have some policing to, to be doing? Distance. I was the one that sat down with her. Honorable. Well, literally, she came she to your job. Work. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> and apparently, he is the <laughs> only barista in this town. Like, Putting these up around town is a bank robbery suspect, and he's a real creep. Ah, uh, <laughs> Fister. <laughs> of course. <laughs> he couldn't help himself. That's why he was in town. You haven't seen him, <laughs> No. Yeah, he'd be pretty hard to miss. Well, <laughs> he's pretty slick. Uh, I waste my breath. Yeah, you can't control them. They're gonna do what they're gonna do, Sheriff. So, about rescheduling our date. He's still on that. Aww. Figure after what happened last time, you owe me. You kinda do. Mm. I don't like that. Well, I can't sneak off of campus. All eyes are on me. You won't have to. He'll sneak onto campus? I'll come to you. 9 p.m., Crackstone's Crypt. Crackstone's Crypt? What? Sounds romantic. These guys are doing, they're moving mountains for you, I'd say, <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh, she's actually gonna go, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm still not trusting anyone. He's too insistent. That's a red flag. It's odd to me the Crackstone's crypt is on their property. What is that? Oh, that's the nail polish. I don't miss her. Yeah, you do. Friends are a liability and can be exploited. Facts. That makes some weaknesses. Same with family. Your job is to guard that diary while I'm gone. I'll be back as soon as I can. It's not a date. <laughs> it's a quid pro quo for almost getting him disemboweled. Just go on a Watch that diary. I want her to be more emotionally vulnerable. Look at that walk. The last time somebody threw a surprise for me here, it did not go as planned. I guarantee this one won't make <laughs> you pass out cold, but you do have to close your eyes. Aww. Are you serious? Unfortunately. Unfortunately! I have closed my eyes all of three times in the past six episodes. Yeah. He got her a dead flower. That's so cute. He's trying so hard. Right here. One second. Oh, he's so excited. And now you die. <laughs> like I, know. TV. I, I don't know. No click. That's good. This is where we're trying to bring Crackstone back from the dead. Okay. You can open your eyes now. It's a picnic. Oh. That's kind of pretty. Dang. Where do you get all those lights? All well, those lights must have cost like at least 80 bucks. As a first redo day, are you kidding me? That is definitely like commitment hardcore. How will she respond? What? No one's ever taken you on a picnic inside a crypt before? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute! He better not be the monster. Movie night oh. in the crypt. <gasps> oh, he put so much thought into this. All right, this is a great date. How do you feel about scary movies? My favorite. Play Scream 5. She smiled. Yeah, girl. Why he likes you. she actually smiling? I'm getting all giddy. <laughs> What horror movie is this? Oh no. Wait. Are they watching Sounds familiar. Legally Blood? <laughs> <laughs> For real, holy shit. <laughs> what? This is totally horror movie for her. That's so good. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> She's actually scared. 
<laughs> oh no, they're here. Yeah, there's definitely a suspect's bike. All right, he couldn't get too far on foot, so I'm gonna check down by the lake. You don't know Uncle Fester, man. Is he gonna see them on a date? Oh my gosh. That was torture. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, don't hate me. I'm just gonna come out and say it. How are you? I want us to be more than friends. Ooh. He hit her with the question. You'll snap out of it. Don't do that. <laughs> Just count my feelings. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. It's not gonna work. Stop, Tyler. He'll just keep trying. I almost killed you. I survived. Beginner's luck. Kind of tougher than you think. <laughs> you wanna see? This is so cute. I'm not falling for it. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> You're making a mistake. Oh, probably. Oh my God, he's gonna go for it. Definitely. Oh, I think she likes it. Don't do it, don't, don't, don't. Ah! <gasps> Oh, it almost happened. Freaking dad, I knew it. Oh no. Come on. So close. She's gonna kiss him. She even tilted up. Mm. What the hell? Tyler. Damn it, dad, you ruined the moment. The block is real. Oh. I'm not gonna even ask what this is, but I never saw the two of you here. <laughs> Make sure not to tell me about it later. Okay, sounds good, Dad. That's the chillest I think he's been. He's like, I'm not even gonna rat you all out. Fuck it, I'm done. And he's just out. <gasps> what? Uh -oh. God dang, son. The diary. The diary. The diary. Oh, yeah. somebody was searching her. Laurel Gates. So violating. Her novel. Her cello. Thing. Thing, what happened with the freaking diary? Thing? What happened to Thing? Oh, Thing got jumped. Where is he? <gasps> no! Oh my gosh. What's bleeding? Don't tell me. No. Don't you dare. No! no. Oh. oh, bruh. What? what? No! You better be okay. You Ooh. gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Thing. Who the hell heard Thing? No. Oh my! They kill Thing? No! No, they wouldn't. No, he's gotta be okay. He's a zombie hand. <laughs> he's fine. Like, you He'll can't... be fine. You better save that hand. Get some of Fester's electricity. Don't make me cry over a freaking hand. Help, 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 help. Thing's not moving. Get him on the table. Oh no. Oh, not Thing. He can't die. Go back alley operation on him. He's gonna like shock Poor him back to life. Thing. Oh good, there we go, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Does he have a heart? Oh my god. <laughs> Dang, son. Oh hey. Come on. Come on, thing. Oh come on, thing. Oh Wednesday. Oh no, she's crying. No, no. Oh my heart. Oh. Don't do this, guys. Oh my god. It's the first time, like, she didn't even cry with Eugene, but this time is getting her. She promised to never cry, and she hasn't cried since she was little. It's like her scorpion all over again. Oh. No! Oh, please move! No way that Do we really kill the thing? No. What? Dude, no, no way. No! Damn. Are you for real? I don't buy it. Thing dies and I'm done. Thing can't die! It's Thing! He's gone Wednesday. No! It's a dead hand! How he can die! Do it again! Think. If you can hear me, if you die, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Go again. No! Again, please! Damn. This is very dramatic. Oh, she's in denial. Poor baby. Maximum power, Fester! I can't, even, I can't believe that I'm feeling so sad because of a dead hand. Oh my god, he cannot be dead. Come on. Come on, buddy. Where's that last last gasp of breath that Jon Snow? <gasps> Come on. <gasps> oh, there he goes. Yes! yes. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I knew it. Get up your fucking hand. Oh my god. 
They really had us going there. I was gonna say, there's no way. I'm getting so worked up over this, oh my God. Stitch them back together. For a minute, we thought you'd picked your last one, Oh line, my buddy. goodness, oh my goodness. Who did it? Oh, who did this to you? Yeah, tell her who did it. Knife from behind the back. Cowards. <gasps> oh, so he didn't see. see. <laughs> Promise that whoever did this to you will suffer. And it will be slow, long. And excruciatingly painful. Hell yeah. Slow and long? Yes. As it should be. Break out the rack. Pinky promise. Oh, <laughs> He's like, yes, do that. <laughs> Fuck him up Wednesday. Huh? Poor I'm crying because a hand almost died. <laughs> I'm worked up so much over a fake hand. <laughs> Somebody gave him stitches though, but right? for real, yeah, let's, let's, let's suture this up, babe. I'll stitch it back up. I found your motorbike. The sheriff won't be far, you need to go. Maybe next time steal something a little less conspicuous. <laughs> well, where's the fun in that? <laughs> I'll lay low here tonight, keep an eye on the patient, and I'll skedaddle in the morning. Come back next season. It'll always be my favorite Wednesday. Aww. Be sure to tell Pugsley that. It'll give him a complex. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pugsley. <laughs> ah, you guys. I'm guessing that's not some kind of random prank. Whoever ransacked my room also saw Nathaniel Faulkner's diary. That's supposed to be safely locked in the Nightshades library. So you do know about the diary, which means you also know the monster we're after is called a hide. She did know more than she let on. Wow. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. What else are you hiding? Thank you, Miss Thornhill. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this is secret information. Okay, so let's hear about this. Faulkner spent years studying hides. He was killed by a hide before he could reach one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ironic. Others tried to carry on his research, but the hides were too unpredictable and violent. They were officially banned from Nevermore 30 years ago. Oh. So they used to go to Nevermore. The bad boys of the school. Mm -hmm. All of this time we've known 30 the years ago. What happened 30 years ago? Why didn't you tell the sheriff? Because then Nevermore is done. Mm. Over. Shut for good. Yeah. If you suspect someone, you need to tell me. Why? All you've ever done is gaslight and obstruct me. Damn. True. I am protecting our Nevermore family, which also includes you, Miss Adams. I believe. Her. I really don't suspect her in the slightest. Absolutely like, not. She's thinking of all the all the children. Come with me. I have information about Mayor Walker's murder. <gasps> okay, then. Nice sure. to see you, too. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this is interesting. Bianca, of all people. I printed these off my dad's computer. Seems he was trying to track down someone. Here we go. It's the Laurel. Looks like mm -hmm. he yeah. started right after outreach day. Mm. According to the British police report, Laura was presumed drowned, but no body was ever recovered. Uh, of uh -huh. course not. There it is. No body, no police. Apparently, the Gates Mansion was purchased a year ago by a 90-year-old candy heiress. She then mysteriously died and gave all of her belongings to her caregiver. Mm -hmm. Teresa L. Glau. It's an anagram for Laurel Gates. Uh. Laurel secretly buys her old house and then comes back to Jericho as someone else. Why? Revenge. Revenge on all the people she blames for her family's misfortunes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Your father? Mm -hmm. Yep. My parents? Yep. Most of all, nevermore. That explains it. You know who Laurel is, don't you? We have two suspects. Yeah, she might be Laura. Wednesday? It might be her, but I, I'm still on Thornhill. It's too easy. Even though I was all, I don't know. We don't have an appointment scheduled for today. Mm. I wanted to return something. Let me sit up straight. <gasps> Interesting. The music box? I found ah! it in your old childhood room. Oh, so she's calling her out. Yeah. I know you're Laurel Gates. You've come back to Jericho to seek your revenge. No. And so did Mayor Walker, which is why you had to kill him. Yeah, it's not her. I mean, who better to slide in and out of the hospital undetected than a psychiatrist under the guise of visiting another patient? That does make sense. But I, I feel it's too obvious. Is it her? The roses you left in Eugene's room were your mistake. They're the same variety I found near your childhood bed. You know what? Get out. I don't have time to deal with your delusional fantasies. I have a patient emergency. Who are you calling, Xavier? <laughs> I'm going to recommend you stay in a juvenile psychiatric facility for observation. Oh, please. What? You and I both know I'd be running that place in a week. Probably. <laughs> Her clapbacks are too much. Time's up, Laurel. Bold. Well, uh, she seems shook. But I almost feel like we're getting this, like, the, you know, the speech this, of who's the bad guy is yeah. too soon. Yeah, it's definitely not her. What if it's Thornhill? Principal Weems, Wednesday Adams just barged into my office, and her behavior was completely irrational. 
Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, what's going on? Dr. Kimba. Who's in the bathroom? Dr. Kimba. Uh, Dr. Kimba, I'm scared for you, girl. She's about to get body. <laughs> no way. Not in broad daylight. She should not be opening that door. Ah! Oh, shit. She's dead. Are you kidding me? It's not her! <laughs> they tricked us! Damn it, I feel bad! I blame this poor lady and she's literally just a psychiatrist. <sighs> now I'm just confused. Oh, so then it's gotta be, it's gotta be Christina. I feel like if I was any other character, I'd be so sus of Wednesday. She's there every time someone dies, you I know. know? She's gone. Ah, shit. Uh... Oh, damn. You were wrong, Wednesday. This ends now. That's me. She's so extra. You know what? You need to stay out of my space. You need to take your own advice. Oh, shit. You left that in my room. Actually, you left it in thing. Mm. How long have you been seeing Kinbot? You've been spying on me, right? I, oh, she's completely wrong. Because I'm the villain in your fantasy. I wasn't in your room. Believe me or don't believe me. I don't care. He wasn't in there. It's not him. Your painting's been improving. Well, it's your newest painting. I enjoy this one in particular. Do yep. Feels like you really yep. loved it. Yep. What do you want? I'm asking the questions. He did have a dream about her dying. His dreams are predictions. He's not a monster. What is Rones and Haler doing in your shed? Are Eugene's glasses? Oh, that is a little weird. Are these stalker images you took of me? <laughs> did he not put any of that there? What? He looks genuinely confused. They're plants. Somebody planted that stuff. Wow. Please. Wow. wow. Wait, they're really gonna take him in for that? Yeah, they framed him. That was not him. Oh, uh, poor kid. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I believe him. You, oh, betrayal. You framed me. I should have let Rowan kill you. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't think he's putting Dang, up with her shit right no her. more. She has to be smart enough to know that that was completely set up. If she is wrong, there's no forgiving that. There's no way. There's no coming back from this. Ain't it's back? Is she unpacking? I'm gone for a few days, the place gets trashed, and Thing almost dies. So she moves back in! Someone's gotta look out for you too. <laughs> Aww. It's a good friend. What happened to rooming with Yoko? Yoko, Yoko sucks. Yoko's great. <laughs> I just decided I needed a few more boundaries. Skip the tape. Don't tell me Wednesday Adams is mellowing out. Never. More like evolving. Well, one inch of duct tape at a time. Mm. We're so cute. By the sudden change of heart. Because we work. We a little bit. They're yin and yang. It's like some sort of weird friendship anomaly. Mm -hmm. Everything you said about me is true, but I don't apologize for it. There we go. No shit, you, sweetie. Facts. You are who you are. It's just who I am. Oh, Enid. That's so cute. Good for you, Enid. I like that. Thanks, Eddie. Missed you. <laughs> <laughs> I missed him too. Wow. Say, I missed you. Hug. Hug each other. I'm sorry about Xavier. I'm not. He's a liar and a killer. Besides. There's nothing quite like the feeling of being proven right. Oh my gosh, you're about to be proven wrong. Except maybe someone to share it with. I heard Tyler's working the late shift. The date shift. <gasps> We're closed. Then you should lock your doors. <laughs> There's some real sick people out there. <laughs> Dad told me what happened to Xavier. That guy always seems so normal. <laughs> like you. For now, Cass. It has made me reevaluate things. Yeah, such as? Like who I can trust. Which isn't you. Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? Uh, I don't want to get my hopes up because what if it's him? Oh my gosh, please, I hope he's not. What if she kisses him and has a vision? <laughs> uh, tender emotional music playing. Oh, do we ship this? Uh huh. Dang. Ah, no! Wow. Wow! Oh! Oh my god, what happened? She instigated the kiss? Unexpected. All right, Wednesday, let's go! Oh my goodness! <gasps> what? Well, this is so cute. Oh, oh, a little smile. Well, I honestly didn't expect us to get this far. Yay, love! <laughs> Hope she doesn't get her heart broken. Vision! Uh oh! Ah, she's oh, gonna see she's it! Oh, she's gonna see it! Oh god! 
Yes, yes. Yep, 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 oh. yep. Winner, winner, winner. <laughs> Boom, oh. Sakalaka. Oh, Stop. Tyler. Stop. There it is. Oh my god, it's him. It's fucking Tyler, man. It's him, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, fudge. I knew it was him. We didn't see him get slashed. You that, son of a bitch. That's all the vision. Oh, I knew it. That's <laughs> so bad. You're screaming when at she me? she found out like that. I didn't want me? her to find out that like that. I wanted her to figure it out. Would you look at that? Tiny okay. boy. You need to go. Oh, man. Don't say anything. It's you. What's wrong? Wednesday. Wednesday's gonna, like, vomit. <laughs> the signs were there the whole time. Is he not even aware of what he does? I don't know. Of course, the first boy I kissed would turn out to be a psychotic, serial-killing monster. <laughs> Sister type. Yeah. I guess I have a type. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You have a type. But you don't know if he's a monster on purpose or not. What a great ending. <laughs> I can't believe it's him. Damn, our boy Xavier! Free my boy! <sighs> okay, we only have one more episode left. Man, I'm so bummed about Tyler. I knew it. He was too suspicious. It's really his his nose that kind of gave it away. <laughs> Wednesday, you moron. You're not right. We still don't know whether or not Tyler knows he's a hide and knows that he's transforming. He's being manipulated. I'm gonna give him every excuse because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Did you know Jenna Ortega did not a snap with her left uh, hand, so she had to spend three months learning? That's a very <laughs> long time. <laughs>